a ceremony that is pleasing before your eyes. We pray for peace in our hearts today. We pray that you comfort us, even at this particular time, in the hours to come. And I pray that, Lord, you stand in the gap for the left wife, and for the left families. God, may you stand in the gap because you are the right person to study the gap. We can come in this family and tell them fully. But God, you are the one who knows the deeper part of our heart. And you are the right comforter. May you be with us today as we now we go to start the service. Wana simamba pamoja nasi. Usituwache kamwe bali mkono wako wende nasi. Leta amani ya kipekee katika maisha yetu leo. Ili Mungu tuendelee kusikia neno lako vile ambavyo unasema katika sherehe ya mwisho ya kijana yetu. Baba tusimamishe, simamisha jamii, simamisha kila mmoja ambao tuko tumekuja mahali hapa. Na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba. Amen. Amen. yetu leo ili Mungu tuendelee kusikia neno lako vile ambavyo unasema katika sherehe ya mwisho ya kijana yetu baba tusimamishe simamisha jamii simamisha kila mtu
Uh, as we sit, on my right, the family. Family will sit Reverend where Reverend. you see the red uh, chairs. The, this is the family. Please come. The church. Uh, as we sit, is on just, my right, uh, the family. Next. Family will sit where you see the red uh, chairs. The, this is the family. Directly the church the family. is just uh, next. Directly. Let's say so family. that we have the opening prayer. Let's, Let's settle, settle so that we have the opening prayer. Settled, so that we begin the program. Let's settle and make sure everyone is settled so that we begin the program. All right, uh, Reverend. Uh, Naomba tusimame wote katika uwepo wa Bwana, tuweze kuomba. Tusimame. All right. Tuweze kuomba. In the name of Jesus. Naomba tusimame wote Baba, katika, katika uwepo wa Bwana. Yesu Kristo tunalibariki na yako na hata pia kuweza jina lako. Ndiyo nafasi tena na fursa tena ambayo umetupatia. Baba katika jina tunaheshimika ni kwa bila ambavyo umetuletea kwa hapa kwa 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 you pray that you give us a current strength and a comfort in the name of Jesus to complete us. Our prayer this morning, our Father, the grace that you gave Ruth, and the now when they were left by the younger ones, we pray for that grace that you give us in the name of Jesus. The grace that you gave Joshua when he was left, when he was left by Moses, and how we pray that you gave to us, my Father, that you are going to grant us that grace in the name of Jesus, King of Glory. And this by the way, the Bible says that they were peace that surpasses all human understanding. We are fortunate to that our father, especially to the family, to the parents, to the wife, to the brother, the sister. That our father, that peace, that they are pushing the name of Jesus, that our father, that they are pushing the name of Jesus, that they are pushing the name of Jesus, that they are pushing the name of Jesus, that they are pushing the name of Jesus. They are going to worship you in the name of Jesus, King of Glory. Because I'm not going to come and take your hands away, man. I mean, you can't make that. I'm sure we're not watching. They will go to work on high, but they will leave work on hard. The last one, the one who took the ball, 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 the one who took Ana karika chini na Yesu Kristo ina sababu sana kuu baba tunaomba na kuna mwisho mwema bwana tunaambudi kwa nibariki na hata pia kwa hiyo ni jina la Sokat Reverend karika chini na Yesu Kristo my name is Hector na kuweza baba tunaomba na kuamini amen first let me give you directions thank you uh, here on my right we have the family my name is Hector and the family you want to see Get directions from Last officials. Directions. Uh, on my left, this uh, side, on my right, we have the church. Have the family. Uh, our uh, pastors, reverends who are here, please make sure you have a seat here. Uh, reverends from uh, on my left, this side, uh, Robbie, we have the church. Comrade Tom, uh, our uh, pastors, reverends uh, who are here, please, please come, make sure you have, have a seat here. A seat on this uh, reverends from and also uh, our leaders will also be provided with a proper space here. Uh, please come you have us in the uh, tree or also there is something that you can scan our leaders will uh, also be provided to the strategic places so that you can assess and then soft uh, coat me the also there is something so that, that you can scan uh, okay, you can scan it in the strategic places so that you can assess our soft copy of the so let me request Johnston, wherever you see Johnston do it. Johnston do it. Please come and give a welcoming remark on behalf of the family. Request Johnston. Johnston do it. Johnston do it. Please come and give a welcoming remark on behalf of the family. Buenas if you are sana. Hallelujah. Sasa. Nimesimama kwani hapa ya jamii 
Yaga Belicha, Tunui, and the whole of Kabejerek, Nakukaribisha, Kwaishere, Aleo, Katekachin, and Ayaso Christo.
predestined and to be conformed to the first uh, to the image of his son and that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters and those he predestined he, he called and those he called he also justified and those he justified he also glorified first 32 it says what then shall we say in response to these things if god is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son but he gave up he gave him up for all of us how will he not also uh, along with him graciously give us all things be blessed a song. Don't they have a song? They have prepared a song for this day. This day we request them to come. As I also uh, request Dr. Weldon to prepare to read for us the eulogy. Let me request the choir for a, for a song. So as they come, I also want to uh, Request that if there are special groups that we have in our ministry, please make sure to send a word so that we recognize you, so that uh, when we reach the time for giving our tributes, we will be able to give you an opportunity to present. I think we'll be ready, so that will be the next. I thought, what? Uh, Okay, I want so go need to have one inside check to see my gear. As we come, uh, once we have uh, on my far right. On my far right, we are in the tents, we have our chants, just at the end. And then, ladies, we have uh, just uh, next uh, to the house, then we have ladies. And then also chants, there's another place just uh, when we are in the gates, you turn on your, on your right. We also recognize the presence of Pastor's Fellowship, led by Bishop David Koech from Blondiani. We recognize your presence. We recognize your presence. We appreciate that uh, your presence also will uplift the family. Prayer, we want you to take it off when you are ready, please.
there. Yeah, I'm saying the prayer continues to give us a number. What you are done with the family, I'll request our the deaths at the lower part, the, the lower side, to get ready so that you come and view. And then after that, we go to our extreme uh, right, we also come. And then we finish with, the, with our tents just at the upper side. Let's keep time, please. Let's be a bit fast because of time. Time is really good.
you, uh, Kusumek AIC. Next, uh, we'll be able to have the geology uh, reading from uh, Dr. Tarek Reldon. Please come and lead us with the geology. As I request uh, the support of AIC to get ready for a presentation, that's Dr. That, uh, the reading of the geology. This is the life of Moses uh, in summary. Uh, Moses people are not bad. I believe we all have uh, the eulogy papers. If you don't have one, I believe your neighbor has one. So we can follow as I read through the path. The late Moses Planet Pet was born on the 14th of May 1991. He was the first born child to Mr. Wesley Kirui and Mrs. Rebecca Kirui, and a brother to Judy Jepkemoy Sala and Paul Kipchumba Pet, brother in law to Chris Adala Sala. Childhood. From a very early age, Moses proved to be an industrious young man. He shared a good humor and a warm smile with everyone he interacted with. He showed a great level of respect towards his parents, peers, and elders alike. With his passing, Moses leaves behind a legacy of kindness, compassion, and generosity. Education. He started his formative education at Trinity Primary School in Umoja, and later transferred to St. George's Grassland Primary School in Akuru, where he did his KCPE, that is in 2005. Having passed with flying colors, he joined Moy High School, Kabarak, where he did his KCSE, that is in 2009. He later did a course in civil engineering at Jaipat, and later joined Kenyatta University, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering in 2018. He enrolled for Master of Science in Energy Engineering and was set to complete his thesis on biodigester efficiency in the same institution. Marriage and family life. He met his dear wife, Judy Jepkori Page, that is in 2017, got engaged and married in 2019. The Lord blessed them with a son, Elon Kipto in 2020. He was a son-in-law to Senior Chief Moses Motai and Mrs. Evelyn Motai, brother-in-law to Gilbert, Faith, Lydia, Kevin, and Tony. His working life, he was a talented, disciplined, and enterprising young man. He worked for Skytop Technologies in Nairobi and later formed a construction company and DC Engineering. It was here that he did several projects, including Soimet Milikula, AIC Oloika, among other residential projects, with the latest being Greenland Plaza, which is still under construction. He was extensively involved in farm research in poultry, dairy, and beekeeping, which was aimed at improving farmers' yield within the community. Christian life. Uh, Moses was born into a Christian family and was raised as a God-fearing individual. He was baptized at AIC Oloika in Kajiano. His passing. Uh, Moses was involved in a road traffic accident at a Serete Junction along Litein Kerijo Highway. He was rescued by Good Samaritans and was rushed to Kericho District Hospital where first aid was administered. He was later moved to Siloam Hospital, that is the same day in the morning. Uh, Siloam is in Kericho where he underwent surgery to repair the ruptured intestines. Various complications arose uh, post surgery and on 3rd January at 9.30 p.m. Moses went to be with the Lord. He, uh, his soul rest in a stand of peace. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Brendan. Let me request uh, Jason Goro AIC to give us a number. I also want to recognize the presence of our bishop, uh, Reverend Jonathan Rutich, who will be our officiating minister for today. Karibu sana, uh, bishop. Uh, stay calm. Also want to uh, thank you that the land, the gents, the gents will be going on our, my right, that is behind the tents, uh, next to those trees, those side. The ladies together uh, uh, just at the house, there is a tent there, so far end, there you can leave. And then also the gents, we have another place, just at the entrance, the main gate, you turn on your right.
Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, AIC Jesse Goro, for the very nice presentation that you've given us. Okay, next, uh, let me also announce that there is a QR code that is there so that you can follow the, the eulogy, the soft copy. And I request Evans. Evans, I don't know where you are. Evans, if you have a QR scanner in your phone, you just go and uh, just scan on those labels that you put on their codes that you have put along and the steel uh, stands for the tent. You can just scan and then have a uh, access to the soft copy of the unit. Okay, so let me take this time to call Pastor Matthew to take us through to invite uh, the officiating minister of today that we will get the summer of the day. Then later on we proceed to the other part of the program. Wanaiso asifiwe, tusalimiana wote, tusalimiana wote ilasino wa Jesu. We want to thank God. This is where the minister of the gospel will be speaking from. That's why I've chosen to speak from here. But before he comes to share God's word with us, there as well other pastors and reverends who are here. Um, the family of Wesley happens to be members in different places where they live and they work. And so we want to acknowledge them. And then finally we'll have our bishop coming to share God's word. So I want to invite a team of pastors from Nairobi. Let me begin with you. You'll take a minute to just say hello and pole. Um, let me invite Reverend Mutua to come. Reverend Mutua is the pastor of uh, the family of Wesley in AIC Oloika in Nairobi Kajado in Kitangela. So I'll give it to him. There are also a team of pastors that have come with him. Then we'll also acknowledge those from Eldred, from the family of Salah, and the other pastors who are there. And then we'll come closer home as we invite the bishop. Yeah, thank you. Can you say one Wasifiwe? Wapeno one Wasifiwe? My name is Pastor Bonface Mutua. I run the of my family, and the NSU Loika family. I want to convey our sincere condolences to the family of Mr. Kirui. May God console your hearts. From ASU Rika, I came with some elders. May I request those elders wherever you are? From ASU Rika. And also from ASU Namelok. I don't see them around. Oh, there they are. Those are members from ASU Loika. And where are, where are the members from? Oh, there they are. We came with some women, and they are the majority, the women. I don't, yeah, there they are. Yeah, so Mr. Wesley and the family receive our sincere condolences. Uh, what I can say about Moses, as a church, we've lost a very resourceful human being. He was our church planner at ASU Loika. He's the gentleman who began uh, architectural work there. It's just a young church, four years. That's when we began the Southwest Kikirui. They are the pioneers of that church. And particularly Moses, the one who drew, who drew the church. That is architectural design. And also, is the gentleman who was leading the, uh, the, the structural work as an engineer. We began this year, and he has led us up to December, that is when we roofed the church. So what I can say, as we bid him a farewell, he has left a very rich legacy, Ariasi Kitengela, his works will never be forgotten. He will rest in eternal peace. But his works will remain in our hearts and also to the hearts of many. 
With me, I came with uh, my vice chairman and also the chairman of the DCC. So I will welcome the DCC vice chair to come and uh, give his condolences and welcome our chairperson and just greet us. And also, as I conclude, because I was only given one minute, Mr. Kiroi is also our development chairperson, so instrumental. So that's why it pains us the most. But may God console your hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Mutua. Allow me to say that my name is Reverend uh, Emmanuel Mwaka, and I have come on behalf of ASC Namilok. We have come uh, a couple of church members. As I give my condolences, I request all the church members to come. All the church members who have come to give the condolences to this family, just come as you have a photo, as I use that one minute. Let me say that uh, I came to know the family of uh, Wesley, Ikirui, and Rebecca. They used to be my church members. That is uh, from 2014 to 2018, before we opened the Donta Church. That is uh, AC Oloika, where at the moment where they are, they are worshipping. And then Moses, I came to know Moses within those couple of years. There's the man whom I know that Mimuto Alipoa Namdua Mungu, na so to the family, may God give you comfort, may God give you strength, may the peace of God that surpasses any understanding may it be your portion. To the church of grace in Amelok, to my letter for the Zao, Zawaze, Wa Mama, and other people who are in the world. I will be a Muslim, Korean Sana, one of our Ngudu, and I was married to this particular time. I've come to my wife, who is also with the pastor, in that church, I minister with Pastor Han. What can you Yeah, thank you so much on behalf of the family of Mr. and Mrs. Kirui and all the mourners present. My name is Pastor Han. I just want to say to the family, Shalom. May the peace of God that surpasses the human understanding guard your hearts, guard your spirits, guard your souls, guard your minds in this difficult time. Shalom. Thank you. This particular time, I want now to welcome my chairman to give his condolences. Thank you. You can just stand here. The chairman says that you can stand here. And then as if you stand here, Steve. And then Oloika, you can join us. Yes, Oloika, you can join us. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, let Wilson and uh, the other brothers, please, you can come and join us. This is one team and. Uh, we thank God. Uh, Mr. Kerry, we have come to say, may God comfort you. We love you so much. And the, the death of our son touched our souls. And when we had a meeting in the DCC office, we discussed and said, we can come and say, may God of all comforts comfort your soul. And that's why I have come with the vice. Actually, we have come as some pastors. And then to uh, guide to I want just to say a word to you. And I will, I'm not preaching. But I will say, I will read a word. When Jesus was leaving, as I said in the house, he said these words. The book of John, number 14, verses number 27. He said, Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. And do not be afraid. I want you to say, Death is a enemy. And all of us we will die. But Christ overcame death. We do not know when one will die. There is no death of the young and death of the whole. Death is death. And this is the heavenly we can see. The best thing is to attach yourself with God. 
And as Jesus said, he said, peace be with you. And the reason of saying that peace be with you, because he's the right person who can give peace. And so to the family, may the peace of the Lord be upon you at this particular time, try your moments, and even the wife of uh, Moses. May the Lord give you peace. May the Lord give you peace. And up, up. Up, up. Simama, na wana atakutitea. Simama, na wana atasimama na wewe. Tuendele kusimama zote kama familia. Na wana atasikuwa pamoja nasi. Sometimes, if you are going to say, Mama, these were my plans. But all the plans of man are in the hands of God. He planned it and we cannot reverse it. And it is very vital and important to accept what God has done. So may the Lord be with you and may the Lord continue comforting you. I am Reverend Kale. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's appreciate uh, Reverends from Nairobi, Reverend Mwaka, Reverend Mutua, Reverend Kale. We thank God for you. That is a demonstration of love for the family as the shepherds to them. I want to recognize a team from Meloret. I want to ask them to come. There is Reverend Waweru, who is with the Salas, who are the in-laws of this family. They married the daughter of this family. I want to invite Reverend I also want to invite Reverend Mok. Uh, who is also the immediate person in the community of the Salas uh, to come as Reverend Mawedu is speaking. And then I will hand over the program as we usher in the bishop to speak to us. Then I will also ask the, because Cap Wesley lives in uh, Kamurito, for Pastor Nabo Kamurito AGC where Wesley is in Camerito, that particular local church. The pastor who is there, please come. This is um, ACK, St. Matthews, in Eldoret, where the sellers, the daughter of this home, they worship there. We want to give them an opportunity. Praise God. I'm Reverend Wawero from ACK, St. Matthews Cathedral. And we have come as a team to condone with the family of Colonel Sala and Mr. and Mrs. Kirui for the demise of your son, Mr. Bet. We learned this with shock for the untimely demise. And our prayers, our thoughts are with you. So on behalf of the provost, the entire clergy, and the whole St. Matthew Parish, we are here to represent them and to condone with you. So I'll read a message of condolence from the provost, and then we will encourage all of us and the family with a very short song as we present the letter to the family. To the family of the late Moses Bet. We received news of the passing to glory of your beloved son with deep sorrow and sympathy. Death has taken him away, but all glory is to God, whose indwelling is the home of the righteous. It is therefore with deep love that the St. Matthew's Cathedral Parish joins you in extending our deep and heartfelt condolences during this difficult time of mourning. In humility, we accept God's will and pray for comfort and strength to bear the loss. May he also give you courage to bear his absence and strength to face the future with hope of eternal life and, all, and in all give thanks to the Lord. The entire SEK Cathedral Par Parish is fully and wholly with you at this hard time. Be assured of our, of our prayers at all times. May the peace of God be always with you. You are sincerely the provost, the very Reverend Bernard Koski.
to remind us that God understands. He loves his son. And because of that, we know that he understands the pain and the sorrow. And we pray for you that God will come to you. Wana asifiwe. Wachina yangu ni Benjamin Limo. Natoka Eldoret. Mimi ni kijana ya mzee Edward Limo. Alikuja huku wakati um, Dr. Christmas alikuwa anafanya engagement. Na yeye ndiyo alikuwa chairman. Alitangulia mzee John Sala. Hakuna familia inapanga kwamba mzazi atazika mtoto. Kwa hivyo si kujaribu kusema tunaelewa ni nini hii familia inapitia kwa wakati huu si kweli lakini um, tuko na imani kwamba kwa sababu huyu Moses ni mtu alikuwa anamjua Mungu tuko na tumaini kwamba wale pia wanamjua Mungu watamuona tena Mungu awape faraja asante asante sana so um hawa ni kwa niaba ya Limo Farm where I am the secretary and we say Polestana, uh, the chairman who is Bishop Rono of Upec Church, Ametuma Pole Zake here, my own family, we say Pole, and also the entire corporate Aprile, we say Pole, and may God comfort you. As I was sitting there, I reflected, or I was reflecting about um, issues of death, and I thought actually about Moses, na mama uh, na baba wa Moses together with the uh, brother and the sister na watu wote pia wa uh, jamii and the relatives to say Paul and I was sitting there like thoughts and say death is so cruel he doesn't know the plans that you have he doesn't sympathize with anyone he doesn't respect who you are he doesn't care if you are, have a young family or not he doesn't care if you graduated yesterday or recently. He doesn't know that you just got a job or where about that you are about to report and that you are about to earn your first salary. He doesn't know the struggles and the hassles that you have had in life to be where you are today. He does not care about the feelings of the parents, the spouse, the children, the brothers and sisters, friends or neighbors will feel when it takes our loved ones. But our greatest, greatest consolation on the helplessness or in our helplessness of death is in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 55 to 57, where Paul says, O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? The sting of death is in sin, and the strength of sin is low. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. One is our secure sign. Hata kama tunakuwa very helpless wakati wa kifo, tujue kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu alishinda kifo. Yesu alishinda kifo and because he lives, I can face tomorrow. One is our secure. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow regardless of all these challenges that comes with death. Otherwise, mucha missing, move to Rock Jehovah, I will hire he has forgot to say he, he trained us to become what we are today. We are his students because he's a lecturer at Scott Christian University. He's currently the principal in Eldoret. He, we were both with Pastor Kevin, his students. Now we want to close in and we want to thank God so far. I want to ask if there is a pastor from far who recognized because we want to recognize our pastors from around is there a pastor from far that we have not recognized thank you so much I want to ask Pastor Kevin to recognize the pastors from here around here and the local church and one of them to speak on behalf and also pray for Bishop as he comes to give us the word thank you so much Ombele sati wote familia ya Kirui na kila mmoja wetu ambao tumetumika hapa kutoa rambi rambi zetu wacha pia nichukue nafasi hii mshukuru Mungu na nitoe rambi rambi zangu na za familia kwa familia ya Kirui familia ya Kirui ni waandani kwangu ni watu ambao tumetoka nao mbali Mose pia 
kusema kwa familia tuendelee sana tuendelee kusimama na nyinyi na kwa fariji God bless you Thank you so much um Thank you um
that it is very difficult, very difficult to lose a, a child. But as we had said earlier, uh, let us all be strong because God is on, uh, is on our side. And we are grateful to the family of Wesley because uh, you have, uh, we have, you have shown uh, that you are truly uh, children of God and that uh, God is, is on our side. Um, so let me ask uh, our colleague to come over just to pray. Just prayer because you have already had token. We'll go on here. I'm calling you because you are the vice chair uh, for DCC. And Reverend Mutai was supposed to be here, but I'm in Yambia at Jafik. So, good enough. You are there. And the two clans, and by him to to wait on Pendu and Atoka, and this clan. Makanisa water by Wamepata Nafasi, Walisha, the two families with their children, particularly Makanisa Kutoka, Nairobi and Kitengela 
in Nairobi. Kanisa la Oloika particularly. Nao makanisa nyingine ambaye tumeambiwa mimi vile vile kama mchungaji nimekuja for the same purpose that proud all of you. And this is yes we know that is real but it, it came a little too early. Man for me. But this one eh? ilikuja kwa kafla na ilipokuja kwa kafla ndiye ali tutesa kwa kuipa au to steal a productive young man not only kwa the Wesley family and the chief's family but kwa kanisa in general it was on foot this month when i attended the pastor's fellowship kijana yangu and Matthew Akanita niko kwa gari I want to get out once I'm kutano So nasema kuna incident ambayo imetoka na si mzuri Alipoeleza it was too tough for me to take it as a fact kama ni maneno ya ukweli kwa sababu gani I know the two families I know the senior chief very well. I know the Wesley left up from far. I chew him in sana. Like the seven old years ago, I was introduced to him in a meeting. I'm going to go to the house of the house. We're licensing the house of the So from that time, the way I followed you, I'm going to go to I know that you are home. I'm going to go to the house I know where you are. So the little skia so could talk I give when be my pastors me and I just came. It was not easy for me to relay the message of condolence because dead came to Ali. If there is any way that we can document to the Saku have some inspired people put in the Bible. I would quote the West of the family as part of that suffering man job in the Bible. Was about everything that has been said. To talk about the touch, who's of his family, who's of his generation, who's of Baba and Mama. The Kwamba, the West of the family, Maluwa Menda wako tayari kutumikia Mungu sacrificially they give out over as much as they can the way job was found blessing his children alikuwa akitoa saka ya kuomba msamaha kwa watoto wake kwa mama na hata kwa ufanye kazi wake that is exactly how Wesley and his family were found why won't we have to? I'm not coming here to ask God why. Job asked many questions, but instead, God responded by asking him many questions. That until today, theologians can pretend to give their side of the story. I'm going to go and get my dad with a new gear. Because it was a red chop. Ah, we believe a coelessa. All we know is that he feared God. Ile kwa jua ni kwamba alijua kuomba msamaha. Hiyo tu beyond that after sasiki the rhetorics of the preachers trying to explain why Job suffered. So do we have mpendwa na msichana wetu be strong. Be strong in the Lord he knows why. After all life is so short. And 100 years from now, none of us would be listening to me preaching unless we have a mental seller here. Otherwise, we will all be gone to be with the Lord. So that is a 
mayome open remarks hata hivi ndio ina nguvu ndugu yangu kuhubiri and vijana walikuja kwa waka niongelesha i did not to be a preacher because uh, sometimes i'm very emotional atinyeliwe kuguma wetamu wote agasta mbeu but the vijana wakasema hapana reverend you you came and you helped us you have to do it so ndio kwa bia ni sawa ngoja na wanyake uru wa bia wale ka wale i was not rushing to come and preach today kama you believe it because today siku ngumu kana wetu ameishi vizuri he will not be listening to my preaching ijapokuwa the beloved young man amenisaidia kuleta nyinyi pamoja ili niwaofilie so the greatest preacher today si mimi bali ni wewe ndume chitano mdewe ila kumaane chitano mdewe ila ine kujijiwe ni mwoso siku lana arabi kaburo ogwa ndumdenye asiogas Somebody once said, if you are to be remembered when you are more, no, no more, write a book. If you want to be remembered when you are, because we, are, we all have to go. Let's say, my big get up. In Ukienda, what to address a Kusoma? So, so my big alag is but not all of us are talented to write books. Ata tujui kuandika one sentence. Lakini alianza fata kwa kusema, but if you cannot write a book so that the world will read about you. Do things diligently. Faithfully. Kwa nguvu yako yote. Ili ukitoka wengine wataweza kuandika kitabu kuhusu wewe. Moses Kiblangat lived the age of our Lord Jesus Christ. Moses Kiblangat lived the age of Alexander the Great. Those are great men we quote today in history. Those are the great men we can discover where they lived geographically. We talk about them. We decide over their lifestyle even though they live a very short period of time. Moses Kiblangat live a life worth to be emulated. A life of discipline. A life of being faithful to God, being a young man. A young man who went up in Nairobi, found a big church. Lakini akaamua ya kwamba sitaka kwa kanisa kubwa. Akaenda kanisa ya watu 30 only 30 people. Which young man can stay that test? Mungola kuelewe ndi kuboko to kanisa nyo to biso so inyo luko milimani. It's an AIC. That is where most of our kids go. Onge kuna otas. Mimi ni bisho kwa AIC. Onge lege isinge ya mure nige nda yo ki niti. Ongo sa yabu miten. The big child, one has a few. What's the more you want? For this young man to choose a small church, that tells you something. Life is never measured based on how long you live in this universe. But the few hours, few years that you lived will tell us about your destiny. Moses. You have left us. Umeaja mama na baba. Umeaja watoto wako. But son, we don't always remember you. Genesis chapter 2, 15. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to walk or to till it and to take care. And the Lord God commanded that man, you know, to a bustan or a deni, a metiweka pale, build it, take care. Through his word, kila kitu imekuwa. 
trees, vegetation, wanyama wapori, maji, the sky, the stars, the moon, the stars, hata sile zingine ambaye, we cannot see with our naked eyes. Wanu mungu wangasema, and he commanded them, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden of Eden. But you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat, you will surely die. Pronouncement from heaven. Matangaso kutoka mbinguni, na mwenye kutangaza hii abali, ni mungu ya kwamba, the moment that thou shalt touch and eat, mutakufa. Satan was subjugative. Cunning. Alijua ya kwamba kuna sheria. Constitution ya mungu ni moja tu, thou shalt not eat. Matia, hiyo tu. Kima kumi halewa yungu. Awende tawangoso ni halewa yuto, but the spirit of the living God, Telling us what God Himself has said. Amezuma mtu wa mbuaki. He has created this man in His own image, the spiritual image which we have lost. That's why we say, Amezuat. The spirit of the will, whereby He will never do anything on this universe with His will. That the spirit of emotion is no longer with him. To me, I give to Mwili, Roho, Simeenda, Kwake. Una gijana moja amba, the first Yeso wakati moja. Alisema Yeso, what must I do in order to see the kingdom of heaven? He was a lawyer, and he drew a sheria vizuri, all the Mosaic law, and all the laws of Israel. Na yesa alipo kuja, alitembea humu, kichichi, kichana aga kuja. Yesa aga simama, aga sikilisa. Kijana aga sema, Jesus, what must I do in order to inherit the kingdom of God? Yesa aga toa suwale, what is it written in the book of the law? Na aga sema, thou shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. Blessed be the name of the living God, because Moses, Moses, Ichana Mpendwa, alimpenda mungu kwa roo yake yote. Alafu ya pili, Ichana akasema, Thou shall love the Lord your God with all your soul, based on all what we have been told. Uyu Ichana alimpenda mungu kwa soul yake yote. Now believe in the last one. Na mbufu yako. Ichana akatumia isi na chi. Akatumia feta sake. Akatumia his academics. Akashawishi marafiki ya kwamba tuchenge nyumba mungu. We are crying. Moses is done with it. He is not hearing pain anymore. For me to live is Christ and to die is King. Kuna kifo ya baraka. Na kuna kifo ya uzuni. Kifo ya baraka ni kujua Yesu. Iyo kyo paula alesema for me to live ni kiishi ni taubiri Yesu. Kijana wetu aliubiri Yesu. Tunaita accident. Ule bingune. God said ni menita hiyangu wa kuji nyumbani. First Corinthians 15, 26. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. Can you imagine? Apopele kidogo, thou shall surely die. Na huyu mtu ambaye na hitu wa Paulo gave us some comfort. That the last enemy, when the Lord Jesus Christ will come, is to destroy death. Kifo ya kustani wa edene. Yeso Christo ni yule ambaye atangamisa kifu. In Genesis chapter 5 verse 5 Adam lived 930 years and he died. Verse 
Set leave 912 years na alikufa. Mwingine naitwa Enosh. Aliishi 905 years, Biblia nasema na alikufa. In verse 14, Kenan lived 910 years, then he died. Kuna mse mwingine mkongwe Mahalel alikufa when he was 895 years. Kuna mwingine naitwa Charles who lived 962 years, then he died. When Charles has lived 162 years, huyu amekufa. He became the father of Enoch ambaye akukufa. Kuna watu wawili tu. Only two people in the Bible who never died. Mmoja ni huyu naitwa Enoch. He was airlifted by God. Anasimama kama mimi. Anaongea kama mimi. And all of a sudden he went to the sky. In the book of Acts chapter 1. Yes, alikuwa akihubiri. Anahubiri na anahubiri. And all of a sudden akapamba mbinguni. Watu wakatasama yeye mpaka ameingia cloud. Na wakasikia sauti kutoka mbinguni. Enyi wana wa Israeli. Watu wa Kalilaya, why are you casting up watching this man who has gone up? And he gave us a consolation. Ya kwamba huyu Yesu ambaye naliona akienda will come and every eye can see. And the only way you can see is to accept Christ as your personal savior. Tuma ronige when you want it, Jesus, pay that in end. Tuma take it that in end. He give what you are moving to the Lord of Jehovah. He take Jesus on the high name. My brother, my sister, we are resurrectionist kibit when he was 950 years so my friends that is 950 years younger than the first creation amo wasab no wa ke dise ko ko sabon awa no kome ko wa mo ke le ko be gu ko to ya mo be ya so fine ro ya kwansa Matanga ya kwanza ni matanga ya Adam. Atuambie when his wife died. Wakilede kitu kingo bale jise kwa gol soval awa no comment. Awa ya mengoza skiplanat. Akafa akiwa na 10 years of age. Medusela lived that one years to be a thousand years that is god's structure that is god's plan the wesley family never chose to get a bob a, a, a bed boy called wesley ili kuwa mapenzi ya mungu mama mpendwa be strong kimitu kiwoni no mama kiwoni no wesley kima kuwoni ne Mije maje ana mami. Mije si mi mami cha masiki sie. Mi ana mami. Kole wa wi, kole ma ikol children are heritage from the Lord. I will place a disease whose name is fu. Na le na le to watoto. Wale chonga ni ngetige, ano. Chungu. Le chonga ni tivi wo mo. Kuli bo chungu. So Wesley na mama 
ukienda kwa nyumba without this man he knows why kiwono kima utinye i will know that they are like arrows in the hands of the one who has them go me will not walk you shoot him all the way to Nairobi like an arrow in the arms of a warrior you shoot him akaenda huko endore akaenda hapa soti you are wengine the same arrow akaja mpaka kusume today tumekuja kusema kwa heri the right arrow what is this monster nemeani nemeani labada tamagawa nemeani labar medusela nemeani labar kijana yandane what is this monster i've been wondering hii kitu ambaye imetusumbua tukisikia mtu ameenda tunapitia msituni to tell the family kuna mtu anapenda kumwambia naenda tunatanganya oh today imesemekana alikuwa poa na amekwenda na mau note kwa ndige moito kilo boli dago gile ana nyoy netago mogi aganya mungu tugina igagwe silugule tumbu nyone chiche gema inera nyimburo kuna mama moja uge jebwaga akwa koba kifo iwure ngivo chorwe iwure kifo age at register what do i do oh register omale register o kuna age at register kuna lilia nini na register imefunguliwa lakini one day register hiyo ikamkusa data yake ambayo ilikuwa kimpenda hicho mtu tena kwa kwa ni muzi metali lipi ke register e uru ni tupyo kwa beri nyugula ramo mweni go ru chono cha mulenge o register kwa kuti tobata ane go liki banu metango o cha mulenge o tene manyinyi register the register was not good that day so when you mind mule go ru chon tage mwana mama aka pas kif ipo we me dawa ya mosne we taki dige na nyu kalia because death is an enemy but i death is the door to heaven focuses to not and you will not tell all it to get out of here what am i saying the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel some 27 years ago 7 years before Christ was born prophet Isaiah prophesied those words but in Matthew 123 1119 years ago the virgin will be with a son and will call him Emmanuel which means God with us in Matthew 122 she will give birth to a son and and to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins so this is the God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son that those who ever believe in him should not perish i'm talking to two personalities here i'm allowing him to be going the way this thing would be i'll give him your name my name is mario i'm allowing him to be the way this thing would be i'm allowing him to be the way this thing would be i'm allowing him to be the way this thing Wesley left you mom and daddy 
not be troubled. He is with the honor. Young Wenyewe. The poor man Lazarus, when he died, went straight up to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man, who is Bele Bele, Abale Kwagi Kanyaga Kanyaga Lazarus, found himself Mahalia Bai in the of Mwoye. He was tormented. Mkilala Usiku, Mkiamuka, Tutiamu. You will see one of these days. Or we don't know what you are doing with Nanyagan. Come in with you. They will visit the Taliban. Come on. Tell me to be in the quill. Tell you what you are here. For you, who can fungle you at the man you will tell him in kind of way. So for now, in a terminal of a night, you will see him. Baba, you will see him. Mama, you will see him. One day, you will see him. Okay, 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 okay,
Tushukuru katika kila jambo ni kwa maana na kati na majira zote ziko mikononi mwako Jehova wakati wa furaha uko mikononi mwako Jehova wakati wa majozi kama huu bado uko mikononi mwako Jehova na sisi kama watoto wako na watumishi wako Jehova tunashukuru kwa kile ambacho umeleta Jehova wakati wa kilio ni wakati mgumu kwa familia ya Jehova lakini umesema ya kwamba wewe umeamurisha masiku na miezi na miaka Jehova ila wakati Moses amekaa katika ulimwengu wewe ulijua tangu zamani Jehova amejitoa kwa mikono yake Jehova akajitoa kwa ile akili umempatia Jehova kajitoa na kwa AI loika Jehova akachora nyumba yako Jehova bila kuitisha hata fedha yoyote Jehova akaisimamia mpaka pale imefika Jehova na yote ni kwa utukufu wa jina lako Jehova Haujasema tutaenda tukiwa na mwaka mmoja, tukiwa na miaka mitano, hata tukiwa na miaka elfu Jehova, ile ambayo itakaunt ni ile kazi tulikufanyia tukiwa hapa ulimwenguni huu Jehova. Kwa hivyo Moses anapokuja nyumbani Jehova, naomba utie mke wake nguvu, baba yake nguvu, mama, brothers and sisters Jehova na mtoto wake katika jina la Yesu Kristo Jehova. Tunapoendelea ishara ya Bwana Naomba hata wale bado kuokoka Jehova na hawajitoi wa, katika kazi yako wakakumbuke hilo ambalo limefanywa na Moses na wakajitafutie taji tutakapofika mbinguni neema yako ikatosha sisi wote na ufariji wako unaopita akili zote ukatosheleze hii familia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba Gracious and loving God we want to thank you so much shukrani na utukufu ni kwako father god siku ya leo sisi kuraisi for this family for all of us but when we remember you are dead on the cross that way of calvary we want to thank you so much because we know that one day in a twinkle of an eye we will see this young man who has gone to be in the presence of the lord eri ni pale kuliko hapa tukiomboleza mungu we think we are mourning his death but in the actual sense we are mourning upon ourselves who are still going to face challenges on this universe wa we mpendwa amepumzika Wampendwa aweze akasikia laana yoyote 
Fuimu God is peace. Kwa sababu Paulo ametuambia for me to die is king. And Father Jehovah, I want to commit this family. I want to bring this beloved child before you. I want to cover this angel before you. I want to pray, O oh God, that he will grow up to be a child, a man to the gone with, to tell the world that you are very powerful, to tell the world that you are living in this family. I want to pray, O oh God, that the blood will grant this vision. Yes. Mungu amajeshi we don't know in this life, but one day when we are in glory, we may know or we may not know, but we know that heaven is real. Heaven belongs to the giants of faith. Heaven is a place where we find it by faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. For they that come to him must believe that he exists. Uyu kichana wetu wali believe ya kwamba God exists. And Father God, he has taken him unto himself. So I gathered the child before you. Mina fundika uyu mpensi wake. Mtote wetu mpendwa. Asiwe lonely mungu wa macheshi. Ajue ya kwamba unempatia yeye. Na newewe abaya umeita. Take care of this beloved girl. Ajue ya kwamba your presence is with you. Ajue ya kwamba the mighty angels will surround our bed. Kwa sababu Dawidi alisema in the beds of the right house. Multitude of angels surrounds them. Surround our bed. Shetani ya kicharibu kulete mambo yake. Tunakemea katika jira za Yesu. Ambia ya kwamba Yesu you hai. Ambia Yesu knows why. Ambia Yesu anajua. I want to thank you of God. That even this young man is yelling the word of victory. We thank you and we thank you. Na muambia baba na mama. From from both sides. To support this girl. To love one another. To depend on the Lord. We thank you for this day. Yes. We thank you for many visitors yes. who have traveled from so far. Yes, Give them journey masses. Yes. They gave us the best of yes. their time. Mm. Tomorrow they cast when they come a cast. Yes. Whatever they sacrifice, mm. their sacrifice will be a gift from you oh, yes. and to this family. Yes, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Can we say amen? amen. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 Pass programa, you have to be very intelligent. As it will be one hour, we tell you we want these people to go back very quickly. We're not open. You might miss a nine and start to some more You might have a moment. So go to more inside. We do just never go and need a million of one more Mahana. Hearty clap for the appreciate your presence here today. The family appreciates it. Now, uh, the part that you are going to start will we'll only use representatives. The only, the only, the only people are allow a uh, little time is the family, the immediate family. Please. That's also, we'll give you time, but I'll mention that time so that uh, we'll also uh, get a little time to give to our friends who have come to bond with us. And I know they have come from far. Just uh, want to recognize them. We recognize the presence of uh, Kenyatta University, where you just stand wherever you are. We'll give you, we'll, we'll, we'll give one of you to prepare just to speak on your behalf. 
Eh, voy el basti, voy el basti. Voy, voy high school, Kabarak. Any representative? Ah, okay. Prepare, I'll give also to one, one person. Just prepare to give me one person. Uh, there is also uh, Ibagenge, Ibagenge group. Ibagenge group, I understand they are seated somewhere. Where are you, Ibagenge? Okay. Prepare, I'll also give one of you to say on your behalf. Uh, Ken Propon. Anyone from Ken Propon? Florence? Okay, there's a team there, I don't know. Um, that is, uh, I'm forgetting your name. Somebody there out there. Fine, I think I'll get with one person. And then uh, we have uh, God Stewards. God Stewards group from Bomet. God Stewards. Oh, oh, Papa, that's how you also get one. Sotic Highlands. Sotic Highlands. Sotic Highlands. We were together the other time. Okay, I see one person. I'll also give you a chance. Uh, Kenya Airways, the aviation industry, and also we are uh, we have represent representative from Dubai Group, uh, aviation industry. I don't know where you are. Team from Nairobi Aviation. I'm seeing one hand there. Okay, I'll also give you a chance. Komarok, Komarok Group. Omarok community, where you? Understand? Okay. We want to add some, some are there. You can also give me one person. And then uh, we have, uh, we are friends. We are friends. Uh, we are friends. Uh, friends from Komarok Youths. Komarok Youths. I'm told there is a group here, yeah, Youths. Friends, what is friends? I think they grew up together. I'm seeing one, one hand somewhere there. So. And also, I want to recognize also the colleagues, uh, teachers' colleagues, uh, one, Rebecca, that is Moses' mother. I understand we have uh, two schools present here. Where are you? I understand there is a team from Nairobi. Colleagues. Oh, you are there. Okay, fine. I'll get you. I think you'll give me one person also. Fine. And then I recognize uh, neighbors. Uh, that is Wesley's neighbors from Acacia. Where are you? Acacia neighbors. They're there. Okay. Thank you for your presence. Kitengela. This is another group from Kitengela. Another group from Kitengela. All right. Camurator, neighbors from Camurator. Okay, we have. Then uh, also prepare one person you will give me. And then uh, retain, of course. This is in Amoy village where we are. Go uh, quit. You will give me one person. Go quit. In Amoy. Go quit. Go quit. Go quit. And I want to move to Lily. Okay, anyway, you give me one person. All right, so straight we are going to the family. And I'll request uh, Reverend Charles Kirui to introduce the immediate family, the Kirui's family. Where are you, Reverend? Reverend Charles, please come forward. Uh, Reverend Charles will introduce the, the immediate family the Wesley's family, and also recognize the extended family and give a few people to give their tribute. And then, secondly, within the family, uh, he will also recognize Rebecca's family, or will give to uh, one person from uh, to to introduce the, the family. And then uh, we go to then we go to Judy's family, and I believe uh, one person uh, will also take, take us through the introduction, and then maybe give a few people to give their tributes. 
and then we'll finalize with the, our in-laws that is uh, the Judy's, uh, Judy's family. Judy is a daughter, is a sister to Moses. And I have one person, John Sana, you will also come uh, uh, to finalize when uh, that is uh, through the, the family. So once the family is through, then we'll give to those uh, representative groups. Because of time, I want us so that by 3, 3 that you are through with the program. Because we know there are people coming from far, we want to hold you for now. So, uh, as, 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 as uh, the family come, let me request one song from Jason Goro, AIC.
asante kwaya Mungu awabariki. Basi nataka nichukue nafasi huu upate kusema hata nami pole kwa familia na ndugu yetu Wesley tumesema pole na Mungu apate kuwa pamoja nanyi. Basi kwa sababu ya muda siwezi kuchukua muda mrefu. I want also uh, only to call the immediate family. Uh, your family Wesley you come forward and um, and your daughter son you are combined the, the immediate family I want to introduce you briefly and I will going to give Mr. Wesley enough time you can give uh, I will be present kishia kwamba sisi kama wazazi wa Moses tutachunga familia yake hawata pata shida yoyote kama tuko uwai tutawalea tutawachunga mpaka mwisho kwa sababu Moses na familia yake walikuwa na place kwa hii familia na hiyo nafasi itaendelea kuchungwa Sijapenda mimi nafikiria ni kusema majaje kama tutapata nafasi nyingine kuongea tutaongea baadaye lakini na washukuru nyote Mungu Mungu awe nanyi hata mkirudi kwenu asanteni na Mungu awabariki Eh Mungu baba Mungu mwana Mungu roho mtakatifu ametuwezesha kadio tumelia nani nashukuru Mungu nasema tu pole kwa mtoto wetu mtuacha lakini acha tuacha amenuachia mtupu amenuachia kiti nikawachunga akaje kwa usaidizi yote kwa maombi na kila kitu na Mungu awasaidie awabariki asante sana
President ACD. They have been already had some grants. But but so it was the heart with some of you. Thank you. Thank you for this much. Praise God. pulled a lot of people together. He did not hakubagua. He didn't discriminate any race, gender, or from what background they're coming from. And I think it's clearly evident by the kind of support and response we've gotten since we had a challenging moment on that year when he was in hospital. We've not been alone. We've always had over 30 people with us every day, and the number was just exponential as the days went by. And you'll find that he has engineers' friends, he has artists' friends, he has farmers who are friends, he has shopkeepers who are friends, he has Patua Mjengo who are friends, he had family who are friends. I mean, my friends were his friends, and his were mine. Because I was looking at the pool of friends that we have, and I realized three quarter we shared with Moses. And even this, I, I think he did hold us together. And for that I'm grateful. He's taught me a good lesson that Sabetachi will not in the One's life is as short as the palm of your hand. And with that, we really need to make an impact with the little time that we give them. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I think what the Bible says in everything, give thanks. Sometimes it is difficult, very difficult to give thanks. Because when you go to understands some situations such as this, um, giving thanks because I had a chance to get to know Moses. I met him in 2013, I think way before um, I met the rest of the family. He came to Loret to uh, visit during school and did introduce me to Moses. He came with Kip. We had a chance to talk over the years and, and share and compare notes, talk about life, plan, encourage each other. I think there was not a year went by without having a chance to be with each other. Maybe apart from 2020, when we had uh, uh, this catch which has affected the whole world, that is okay. But all these years, I've had a chance to spend time at the moment without boundaries and openly and with open arms. I thank God uh, for this time it's going to have to And to the family, may God continue comforting you and continue strengthening you and we provide healing over time. Forgive me if my speech is a bit haphazard. I'll just gather my thoughts along the way. When I remember Moses, 
and my relationship with Moses. He was my friend, my best friend, even before being my husband. He is someone who I could always talk to. He is someone who understood me. I remember when I was getting married and my parents, my siblings, they were like, are you sure about this? Because Moses is way older than you. For those who don't know, he was born in 1991, while I was born in 1999. That is a difference of eight years. But in my uh, four years of marriage, Moses has always understood that I'm younger than him. He has always given me the space I needed to grow. And he's always held my hand and worked with me in our marriage. I graduated on the 16th of December. And I remember one of the promises Moses made to my parents the day he came asking for my hand in marriage was that he would see me through my education because my parents said the fear that once I get married, I won't go through school. And he fulfilled his promise before he went to be with the Lord. All of you know that Moses was a hard worker. But what you also don't know about that part is that every day he would wake up at around 3 or 4 in the morning. He was already awake. He would do a few things on his computer, whether it was studying or catching up with the finances and stuff. And by around six or seven, he was already going around looking at his projects. You see the, the chicken houses over there. Moses built them. And by build them, I mean that he did the work with his own hands. He did most of the work. He only had someone help him here and there. But Kushika Nyundo, Kupaka Rangi, the water system, it was entirely his work. You even see the pathway from the gate to the house. Moses put that path himself. He was a hard worker, and he will be dearly missed. Moses was a great friend. He has so many friends all over the country, from Litain to Kitangela to Nairobi to Riru. While I turn to the friends, I know you lost a great friend. Moses was always talking about forgiveness. Even when I never agreed with some of his friends or my siblings, he would always tell me, you should be the bigger person, and you should be the first one to reach out. And he would always say, forgive, there is my brother, or forgive, there is my sister. So that was Moses. Another thing you don't know about Moses, I know you know him as a hard worker, an intellectual, a brother, a father. But in the past one year, Moses was honestly searching for God. And by honestly searching for God, what I mean is, he went to the point of conducting a research and comparing between Christianity, Islam, and Buddhism. I didn't know at that time that he was preparing his way. Even as he is gone now, I am sure that he has gone to be the Lord. Moses was good. He was too good for this world. Uh, let me just quote one of the one of his favorite verses in the book of John, 15, 1 to 6, and it says, "I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit." While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes it so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. 
If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me. Oh yeah, sorry. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you really knew Moses in his spiritual path, he always said that we should not be like the vine, the dry vines which would be thrown into the fire. Just as he told his friends when he was alive, we too should start preparing our path and make it clear. Uh, another thing about the friends of Moses, when we were in the hospital and the doctors were in need of fresh blood, so many people came out to donate for Moses. That is the day I saw the love the friends had for Moses. And I thank you all. Moses was a great father. If you know Moses well, you know that he had the tendency to give people nicknames. And one of the nicknames he gave to our son was Buddy. Had you spent time with Moses and our son, you would always hear him calling him Buddy. But what you don't know is that Buddy means friend. And that is why he gave our son that name, because he wanted to work with Elon, not from a distance, but just as a friend you would work with a fellow friend. Uh, Moses, we've already said he was an intellectual. He always believed in improving himself. That's why you would never find him sitting without his laptop. Apart from his degrees and his masters, he also learned several softwares. He learned CAD, he learned Blender, he was doing coding. He had so many plans for himself, for me and for our son. Do not pity me for being a young widow. I know that many, look, many of you look at me in pity for being a widow at 23. But what I know, the Lord says in Jeremiah 29, 11, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and future. Moses came for me from my parents, and I'm sure the Lord knew that our happily ever after would only be for four years. And I'm sure that he has plans for me, so do not look at me in pity, because the Lord has plans for me and for my son. One thing I thank Moses for was leaving me with a son. For all those who had the privilege of seeing Moses, if you see Elon, he is a spitting image of his father. Whenever I see Elon, I get the strength to get through each day. And even as he rests, what I want to tell him is, rest is in my love. I will take care of our son. I will be both his mother and father. I will try my best to ensure that he doesn't fill the gap he's left in our lives. And when he gains understanding of the world around him, I will tell him all about his father, that you may live on in his heart. Fare thee well, my love, till we meet again. Praise the Lord. My name is 
Canon John Sala from Eldoret. With me here are my brothers, my brother Tom and uh, my cousin Joshua. The rest of the family members can come forward to join us. I want to say a very few things about uh, Moses. I came to know this young man when I came to this home to ask my friend and my brother Wesley to allow me to come to his home and hand over my son, Chris, to him. Since that time, I've had several times with Moses. Whenever he visited Edward, he would come to my home. And uh, the most recent, just two days before, he had an accident. And his wife has done a wonderful summary of this young man. I don't need to go deep into it again. But what I want to emphasize is uh, his relationship with his son. He loved his son. He paid very little attention when we were together. Most of his time was spent running with his son Elon in my home. And the second thing is that Moses was somebody who extend a joke with, we share with him. And uh, it's not so common for old men to be very close to young men. But this time round, I found Moses next to me and we shared. So I want to uh, state that uh, on 25th October 1973, the Lord saved me. That salvation has brought me this far. The family you see before you here, whom I will introduce soon, is my family. When I got saved, I had no family. I can count many blessings which have come by. But today I've learned one lesson about death. The lesson I've learned is for me and all of us to make or have a choice of our priorities. To have priorities right. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things, things, the things we run, run after, education, the, the shambles and so on, are things I want to be close to my sake. Because this death is real. Ah, uh, I don't want to take longer than that, because it is heavy. You say, and the mom and the rest of the family fall in. What you are feeling, I'm feeling. But there is no way one can penetrate and see. I was not even prepared to stand here and speak to it, but I was asked honestly to come. Uh, before you, I want to do a, a very vulnerable thing for you to hear. These people are others. Can't speak for them. But only one minute, type their names and you know who they are and how we are related. Because this old master of ceremony is my friend. He's a very good man as you can see, even laughing. He cannot say no. It's under a big boy. I'll start from Hello, one of the Sana. Atu fanya mungu na mnaye. Aleluya. Aleluya. Kwa hivyo mimi pia nimetoa shukrani na nimetoa pole kwa wasasi wa boma huu kwa kupoteza kijana mdogo. Lakini kila jambo iko mkononi kwa Bwana Mungu. Yesu na Mungu ni anajua siku ya kila mtu. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Tomo Kuna. 
Huyu ni ndugu yangu John ni ndugu yangu mkubwa. Asanteni. Sasa wamesema huyu ameharibu taratibu. Panish me. Joshua Ujeng is my cousin, first cousin. Judy is my daughter because I handed over Chris. Chris doesn't belong to me. Mzee, hili kijana yako vile tulikubaliana. Hata sijui anapatikana hapa kwa nini. Ah, ye. Asante. Huyu pia ni Leoma. Naitwa Joy. Naitwa Joy Muyonga, natibu watoto. Pole mama Pole Pole Sala, brother to Chris. Joy is my wife. Pole ni sana. I'm Morelli Adala. I am a niece to Canon John Sala. Isaac Sala is my name. Brother. <laughs> Chris, Judy's brother in law. My wife is My name is Irene Okello Sala. Judy is my sister. Chris is my brother. And I'm married to Isaac Sala. Uh, my name is Jeremy Sala, brother to Chris. My name is Lillian Sala, sister to Chris. And Judy is also my sister. My name is Rosalina Neka. Pauline Sana, and uh, I also used to be a former colleague to Mr. Kirui Wesley, and he was a wonderful man, so I'm also here on behalf of some of the Kina Airways former colleagues to just say Pole and to just tell the family, Mungo Afariji. Amen. Buona Sifiwe. Tupungiane tafadhali. My name is Humphrey Omondi, Pastor Humphrey Omondi. My wife, Lydia. I am a pastor to this family, but my wife's younger sister, Irene, is married to Isaac. And uh, we have a, a very interesting relationship because that Salah is our dad. We just agree that that is how it is. So that is that, and that is how we are. So Poleni Sana Familia, uh, Judy is a very close friend of ours. We just visited before that happened, but we 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 really pray that God will give you peace. Amen. Lydia Siko Mwandi, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Good afternoon. My name is Joshua Ocean, cousin to Salah. I met Moses on 37. Sisana to Taunan Kaina Mungu Akipen. Kiwe katika jina la Yesu. Basi litachukua muda ingine pia ni waido tu familia ya Kaba Licha. Hapsabulon, Kap Tosho wakisimama tu mali wapo. Alafu litamba mtu moja pati kuongea kwa, kwa niyapa yeni. Musimama, familia. Onge telelo. Katun, Kapsabulon, Alicha,
But Naishi ya Kesha, Naishi kariko na teacher Rebecca, she is also my man, Barikiwe. Kwa majina, inaitua Emily Parmutia. I'm the deputy head teacher kwa hiyo shule, the senior chief, Mutungi Primary School. Mahali Rebecca, Chicha Rebecca, Miss Titi. And we say Pauline Sana na Mungu wa Fariji na awe nanyi. Shalom. Uh, na mimi naitua Ndulu Helen, kutoka Murana. Lakini sisi wote tunafanya kazi pamoja na Rebecca. Uh, yangu ni matache tu, tunataka kutua la bile bizetu. Kwa familia ya Rebecca. Rebecca tumekua na ye mda mrefu wakati tumekua sinetif na ni mama yetu. Kwa hivyo wakati ya mepotesa mtoto, hata sisi nasikia huo uchungu. Lakini kwa yote, mungu wa mesema, tushukuru kwa yote, maana na sababu. Kwa hivyo yetu nikuwa bia Rebecca pole, familia pole, and we only going to say that it is well. Thank you. Tunataka kujioka kwa sabi tutaenda bali. Meturuhusu. E, kwa hivyo mkiona tukitoka, mjue si kutoroka. Tunataka tuwede pole pole. Ndiyo tufike salama. Asanteni. Thank you for keeping time. Uh, now, uh, just to finish the team from Nairobi. Um, I understand also there are two more groups, Akesha, Akesha from Nairobi and Kivagenge. Please just come forward wherever you are so that uh, just an introduction and request one person to do the introduction and one just one person to speak so that we keep time because we have a long list for the other groups that we need to acknowledge their presence. Akesha and Kivagenge. I want you just the two groups just to come. And uh, I don't know, the first one is Akesha, yeah. So Akesha, you can start. Our aunt believe also Kibakenge should be somewhere here. KQ, KQ, Kenya is also to be ready. Uh, God is good. And all the time, God is good to all of us as well. Uh, as requested by the MC and in the interest of time, I'll give an introduction. We are neighbors to Mr. and Mrs. Kirui and their family. We just share the same court in Akesha Wairidi. So on the far right is Mr. Martin Jero, our neighbor, uh, Sarah Joyce, our neighbor, my investor, and I to Timothy Kimani. Uh, we send our condolences to Mr. and Mrs. Kirui and the entire family and all of you in general. And we pray to God that he's going to give you peace and uh, give you comfort during this difficult time. May God bless you and thank you so much. Next, thank you again, please. One person to do the introduction, one person to speak so that you keep time. Uh, good morning, I'm Dr. Tumle, and I'm Jesu. Good evening, I'm Dr. Tumle, and I'm Dr. Tumle. I'm Dr. Tumle, and 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 I'm Dr. Kukubagege is just, and uh, one thing about Kukubagege is that they all are members of NAMELO, AIC, and uh, OLOIKA, AIC. Basically, those are the two. And we are also proud, our pastor is with us also today here, and it is out of his leadership that we are together the way we are. We thank God, Moses, was just a young man who was very promising. We saw him always accompanying their father to any functions of our uh, meetings. And he was always very inquisitive, and I remember one third when we had our last meeting, he said he wanted mentorship from Sisi Wase. That was a very promising young man. But we thank God. When God decides, he has decided. So this team wants to sing one song. Kapla to Jayana because Safari ya kwa ito Kajadro mbali na tutaimba tu alafu 
ukiona tumetoka mapema pia tunaomba rusa poleni Wesley ake kwa sala Taylor tunasema pole sana Mungu anajua ni kwa nini alifanya hivyo asateni sana tutaimba wimbo mmoja Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Thank you, thank you so much for the song. Very nice. Thank you, please. We are next. As also request Komarok, Komarok group, where are you? Komarok, please come. KU, KU team, please come also and a team from Tokyo. Yes, yes, please proceed aviation, aviation team. Aviation industry, please, you are next. As I request uh, Komarok to be next. Komarok, KU, Kenyatta University, please also be somewhere ready. Take that also, you will follow. Mr. Kamau will lead us. Yes, yes, yeah. We will be a mate of Kamau. Kamau will be more of a way of our metoka Kenya Airways. I keep it to the pet as an Akujita and a hero. Uyu Tamu introduce kwa sababu walikuwa ni chairman wetu na hitu wa karanja na kuna wakati walikuwa nafanya na sisi Kenya Airways na wakafanya na mwana kiruli eh, mahali tunaita ye Uyu ni alikuwa chairman yetu na dia ni kuambia yale ambayo ya metokea Kutokea hapo, mwikine ni ta introduce ni huyu mzee hapa ambaye ya walikuwa nafanya na mwana kiruli he is an aviator, but avionics by profession. Mumi wa metoka civil aviation authority. Yule naya nasimamia wale wikina wa metoka emirates, 
ni huyu mzee kijana haya kuna wengine wawili hapa ambao nitawaonyesha kuna mama mmoja hapa huyu anaitwa James pia ananifikia that is bibi yangu kuna mwingine hapa eh wewe wewe unamjua abas mmejionea hamtaki kuambiwa haya ukitoka hapo yule anasimamia hao wengine wa Wilson ni huyu mzee kijana huyu ni kijana kabisa sasa sisi hapa tumekuja kumpatia pole mpendo wetu pamoja na familia yake kwa kumpoteza mtoto wao yule mkubwa sisi kama wazazi tunaomba kila wakati watoto wetu watuzike lakini sasa haikuwe sana mtoto wake ndiye tumekuja kusindikiza na huyo mtoto nimesikia mambo yake mengi nilimjua akiwa mtoto sana wakati amekuwa si hatuja wasiliana sana lakini vile nimesoma kwa kitabu huyo anakaa kama baba yake yale yote ameandikwa nimeona ni ya baba yake huyu baba yake anatuitanga kawaida ndugu amtujui hatumjui kwa jina nyingine tunamjua kama ndugu hata kuna wakati mwingine ingawa tumefanya na yeye zaidi ya miaka 20 ninasahau jina lake nauliza anaitwa na alikuwa anaitwa nani kwa sababu nimezoea kumuita ndugu bwana kirui na familia yako nyote pamoja na bibi ya yule ametuacha nimemwambia poleni sana tuko pamoja hataki kusema tunasikia unajua vile unasikia kwa sababu hatujui unasikiaje lakini ujue tuko pamoja na ile huzuni uko nayo kuna kiwango ambacho tuko nacho wakati tulisikia yale yamewapata niliona nilisoma kwa mtandao kwa sababu mimi mzee wetu alituingiza kwa hiyo majina yote kwa group akawa anaandika sasa tulikuwa tunaona vile watu wanaandika Orendi sana hatutasema mengi tutazidi kuwashikilia mpaka wakati tukaona tumesimama wima asatendi sana MC tutapatia nafasi sasa ukiona hatuko ujue kwa vile tumetoka Nairobi hatuja hapa pamoja na ona kirui na nikwambie kirui again pole sana kuna wakati tulikuwa tumesema tutakuja kutembea hapa lakini hatuta hatukujua tutakuja kutembea kimbiki Mungu huwa na mpango wako uendi na amani ya kwamba Mungu alimchukua kwa mapenzi yake asanteni Thank you so much Mr. Kamau for the very nice introduction and you've managed your time very well. Next let me request Kayu. Kayu is a is a very another big family. This is a family uh my colleagues uh uh both is the late masters and Kayu. We have his classmates, we have uh we I think the group about three in one. So let me give we take over and then maybe last day we can do an introduction and then maybe do one one for the other groups. Uh, thank you, thank you, Master of Ceremony. Uh, this is the team from Kenyatta University. As you have heard, uh, Moses did his uh, undergraduate BSc in Mechanical Engineering. So uh, we have his classmates who are at undergraduate. We have the classmates at Masters, uh, who one person will talk, the same with the undergraduate. And then we have also Judy's classmate. And then we have from the student representative, the student's body, we have the postgraduate representative. And then we also have uh, uh, the other team, we also have the international student who will be with us, but I think I just mentioned their names. Yeah. So with me here, I have Dr. Jue, who is also from the Student Affairs Directorate, who is with me. So we are two members of staff. I'm Elias Ako, School of Engineering. I taught Moses at an undergraduate degree. I taught him thermodynamics and uh, air conditioning and refrigeration. I've seen him practice this and I'm happy uh, him uh, practice knowledge. So I'll summarize with uh, 
message from our deputy vice chancellor, from the management of the university. I'll read the eulogy and later hand it in to, uh, to Judy, uh, Mrs. Uh, Ibrahim. Uh, thank you. So for this, I'll ask, uh, uh, maybe we'll start with uh, uh, the, the classmates at undergraduate. I'll get one, more pa one person only and uh, to say something on behalf of the, uh, of the rest. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, with me are uh, Moses Kibalagat, classmate, mechanical engineering, class of 2018. We are here. We can raise the hands. So we are a big team. We have a team from mechanical, civil, electrical. Uh, there are very many here. So Moses was a very reliable person. Our undergraduate won't be a success without him. Really supported us. And I was at the class rep for five years and he was really instrumental during our five year period while with him. So we've really lost a very reliable person and we will really miss him. But in that, we give ourselves hope with the book of First Thessalonians 4 that there is hope for resurrection. And uh, we believe that he is a better place, that one day we will meet with him when the time comes. And to the family, I want to ask you that you may find strength in the Lord, that everything happens for a reason. And we will be there with you. In anything, if you need us, our class of 2018, our doors are always open. We will come and support you as much as we can. And for that, may our Lord, good Lord, be with you and guide you wherever you will. Thank you. Uh, then we can get uh, the representative from the uh, MSC Engineering Energy, yeah. uh, Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. I and And as a class, to uh, lose an active member. In today's industrial, it looks like a lot is so and I'm able to be practical with this word. And one thing I've realized from all this, Moses has done a lot with this short, the way we call it short life, I'm a fan of it me, and um, that one is only the ugly things I may make, the stories I'm making up, but it's going to make a lot in heaven. There is eternal rest when Moses and I make a lot. He's going to make an amazing story there, and one day we shall meet him. For the family, please feel comforted. God is with you. Baby Elon is our representative. Judy, don't worry. God has your back. And thank you for supporting the family, and thank you for today. As I'm, saying, I'm, I'm representing my class, MSC, Renewable Energy. Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn. Uh, Judy's classmate, we give one, one person just to. I'm the boy you want to. When it's as if you. Mimi Jinelangu Nato Asike Victor Seth. I started with Judy in the same class. I joined Kenyatta University before Judy joined Kenyatta University. And I concentrated too much on uh, business. Kasaoku Soma Kidoku. Sasan Kakuja Nikapatana Tiana Judy. Judy by then was my customer, but now he became my, she became my classmate. We want to say, Paul uh, we wouldn't say that we feel the pain, but we understand the pain you feel. The only person who can understand your pain is God. So put your eyes on God. Let God give you hope. Let God give you strength. Sometimes we fail to understand the good in everything. You know, the Bible says that everything works for good to all those who trust in Him. So we may fail to understand the good in everything. But that's like the story of Joseph. Uh, Joseph was sold and he suffered so much that the good was realized after Joseph became the Prime Minister. After he was imprisoned for a very long time. He suffered for a very long time, but he realized the good later. So you may not understand the good right now, but surely it has happened for good. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, thank you. With us here we have also a postgraduate student uh, representing international students. He's from Liberia. Let, let him just say a word. Good afternoon. My name is Dennis Aaron Nimne Jr. from Liberia, a postgraduate student at Kianta University. In the book of 1 Thessalonians 5:18, it says, In all things, 
in all circumstances gave thanks, for this is the word of God. In this time, it's difficult to say sorry, but we know that it is God who comforts, and he will show the comfort each and every one. The evidence that so many people have gathered today means that Moses lived a life that was emanating. Each of us that are alive, we need to touch lives. Because the life we touch matters. Sorry to the belief family, and thank you. Thank you. Then representing the uh, Students' Union, KUSA, uh, then we have also the postgraduate representative, who is uh, the congressman for the postgraduate. Let me give him a uh, brief, brief, brief. Let us sing of his love once again, of the love that was can never decay, of the blood of the Lamb who was Till you praise him again in the day, in the sweet, in the sweet by and by. Chancellor 
academic. Thank you. Thank you. Where's the family? Uh, to start to receive the. I want to appreciate KU family for the wonderful tributes that you've given us. Moses indeed was a great man, and only God chooses the best. Moses talked with his God to forgive him, and that's what he has said. He went so is that. Moses would ask anyone if he had prompt to forgive him. And that we find solace that you know Moses is in a better place. One of Judy's students has mentioned the story of Joseph. You remember what happened? Joseph's father wanted to throw him into a hole. But at the right time, God brought a caravan, which made the brothers to tell Joseph to to the Egyptians and be remember the story. May, may God bring you that caravan, Judy, in times of difficulty ahead, in times of trouble, that God will be able to fulfill the struggles that you're going to go through. Uh, the next group is Komarok, the youth. I'll just give them uh, one of them to, to speak and they just uh, say the names and then I don't know, uh, Jacob, Jumokinata, is there anyone, any, any representative from Jacob? Any, any representative from Jacob? I'm not seeing any. That's fine. Then Konyon. Where is Konyon? Konyon group? Konyon group? Is Konyon group be ready? So that's our next. So Komarok Youth, please, uh, one of you to speak. And Hi, right, so we proceed. Right. Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Kintai. I am here with uh, Komarok Youth. Um, I'm actually the Komarok President Association representative. So we grew up with Moses and uh, all of us here in the same estate, we in the same court. And uh, Moses' mom, Rebecca Wall, was our mother. Yeah? She used to discipline all of us with, with equal measure. Yeah? So before I read our message, I'd like uh, each and every one of us to say their name, introduce themselves, then we'll read our next message. Thank you. Praise God. My name is Brian Pet. We actually share a name with Moses, the surname, and uh, I'm very sorry to the family, and may Moses rest in peace. Or we shall meet again in the future. Well, as you feel it, I'm a Godwin Mumbo, a childhood friend to Moses' pet. Uh, I just want to say sorry to the family. We believe Moses is in a better place. Uh, praise God. Uh, my name is Rodney Mumbo, a childhood friend to Kip, a friend to Mazel Kumita Kip. To the family, to Lenny, and uh, God bless you all. Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Eric Gitonga, and I've grown with Beth since 1997. That clearly states that we've been childhood friends. It's truly a great loss to all of us. Good afternoon. My name is Christine Katakaria, and Lady Sana, may God grant you peace and this I cannot afford to be here. Please say your name because of time. Please, that's your name. Please. Oh. Praise God. My name is Kevin Mumo. Praise God, everyone. I'm good to see you. Praise God, I'm Marie Lucaro. Yeah. Praise God, my name is Martin Mohabo. Sorry to your family. Praise God, my name is Nicholas Mokuna Ikuno. Okay. Uh, their parents are going to speak. Okay. Yeah. 
So um, uh, we would like to pass our deepest condolences to the family of uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kiwi. Um, we all know that Moses had his fair share of ups and downs when growing up. Um, he was a very um, sophisticated guy, eh? and uh, if you really need to know him very well, you probably misunderstand him. Eh? And he had quite an inquisitive nature. Um, however, though, he had such a unique influence on each and every one of us. Eh? And um, um, his death led us to ask ourselves what questions are. Eh? Um, what is the purpose of life? Why are we here? So many philosophical questions that um, we couldn't really answer. But the one thing that we took out of it is we all need to live a purposeful life. That's the way Moses did and how he positively imparted on us. So Moses, goodbye. See you in the afterlife. Um, rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Comrade of parents, please. And I'll request just one person to speak. The other one, please just say your name. Just choose one person. Just a request because of time. Amen. So, he ni team ya Komarok. Na hapo njipo kina Moses walilelewa. So, kwa sababu ya wakati, watajitamulisha tu kusema jina peke yake. Alafu mtasima. Yangu naituwa Joel Chanui Tumekua na kina kiwe hapo Ndi umekua base Tunasema pole You have time Please later on read Ekelisha 6 chapter 9 Alafu utawana dile Mungu anawanyani hapo Santena Ambrose Koske Koske Naituwa Helen Chanui I leave Psalms 121 to this family. Thank you. Amen. So, to kwa to kwa familia ya Mr. and Mrs. Kirui, Judy, Paul, yeah, Judy Mamela, and the rest, the extended family. Hakuna neno ambalo mtu anaweza kuzungumza wakati kama huu. Kwa matukio kama haya, akaweza kufariji mtu ambaye amepoteza mpendwa wake. Lakini tumekuja kama kikundi hiki kusema mungu anaye jua kufariji watu wake. Akaweze kuwafariji. Akashike mikono yenu. Even during this time, the pro, uh, during this process of healing, akaweze kuwasaidia to come to terms with what has happened. And our God is faithful. Mungu wa wafariji sana. Amen. Thank you for managing your time very well. Thank you so much for your parents. Next is going on. And I'm ordered to request Wesley, the family, Judy, uh, that is Salah's family, Mbude Mbede. Uh, this is a very huge family. Uh, I'll, I'll, I think one person will do an introduction, you know, and then I'll leave to one parent and then maybe one of their children to give a tribute to that to summarize. Well, and it was just as we seek, the middle one is silent, we normally don't say. Now, uh, this is Kuinan family. Uh, actually, Kuinan family, Wesley was the initiator. Because he started when he was turning 50. These are five families. I think I mentioned them and then their children will raise their hands also. Um, they told me to speak because I'm, uh, I think, a bit older than any of them. Yeah. Now, uh, let me start by... Okay, Wesley had introduced himself, but it's all right. Wesley, the family, we come to you. Yes. 
Okay. Richard the Music. Family. Yes. Um, Mr. Chirchir and the family, yes, and we will speak with Angoida. Mr. Tangus and the family. Thank you very much. And then Misik and the family, Justus, Mukwapo. And then uh, Priscilla of the Baki Kidogo. Now, you. now, this is Konyan family. Konyan family, Tunakutana Christmas. Pekiaki. Na mkiwana kwa hii picha, mwangale picha mwisho. Mkiwana hiyo kwenye one family. When we started, we had no grandchild. Ilikuwa tu sisi na watote yetu. But now, we have ten grandchildren. Simunaona hapo hiko masafu. So, we normally enjoy, you can see even Moses kwa boat. We were enjoying, they came to my place in Eldoret, it was my turn. I had a family of about uh, well, almost 40. And we enjoyed, Moses was very happy. We gift each other. And this time, Moses gifted uh, his fellow engineer. What in here in Amanda, he gifted his fellow engineer. And interestingly, he gave him a gambut. And we were all amused. We asked him why did you give him. Because when you give somebody, you have to explain why you gave, gave him that gift. So he said, this man is an engineer. He kept himself locked all the time doing this engineering work. He wants him to be a farmer as well. That is what he was doing. You can see what he has been doing. So this man who is a very focused, was a very focused man. And uh, the wife, incidentally also, comes from a clan, clan Mane. I call her Chepta Nyu. And I know Chepta. So, what are to say me kwa niyaba konyong? Mutio, kabwezi. We equally fail the pain. Among these celebrating it all, or ongele na minare, mutio kabisa, I go, we were really affected. But we are praying for you, and we pray for konyong. See what I want to say. Oma geta stau in Chepta Nyu Judi. Shika. Shika nini ngombe wanafungwanga na hile yo kena alfu wana lima pamoja. So usibaki nyuma tulime pamo? Pamoja. So wata nifatie ama Mrs. Misik alafu tumalisi ya. Ok. Wata ni wasalimie katika njina la yesu wa mjambo. Ok. My name is Priscilla Misik. As Mamura said, we have been with Wesley family for a very long time. Let me just say a short story about Moses. Uh, when our children went to St. George's Grassland, Nakura, I remember Mr. Kiru used to pick me at 4 a.m. when my husband was away. Mr. Kiru used to pick me at 4 and Mrs. Kiru. And we were, because our children had ordered us to be in St. George's at 8 a.m. And Moses was one of them. My daughter was here who, who was the classmate of Moses. So when we reached uh, St. George's, the first thing they would say, wapi sausage, wapi sambusa, wapi nini, all those things, because they used to tell us, don't come late because we are not taking breakfast at school. So when we were there, Moses used not to speak a lot. He would say, panga is vitu. Panga is a bit. So when we are eating and others are talking, Moses would say, where do you have a mouth to speak and where do you have a mouth to eat? So Moses alikuwa nasema, nisaya kupanga. So alikuwa napanga. Anapanga bila maneno. So awa tumelea, tumetoka na hao mbali. Tulishi na hao kwa inako, wakama komorok, si tukaendelea kupakika uh, inako, to kind of South Sea, and we have been very close friends. In fact, Moses, sometimes really one of the students at Masema, beginning a mistake Moses of Ayani Vilanaka. Because some of us, we are old school. Some English, sometimes we could not understand. Ile Moses Aliesa Kusema. Moses to Mampotesa, we really feel it, but the more much pain. It is in the parents. So let's pray for them. We are here. Tomorrow they will be here. Let's have some time to come and stay with them. 
to to jaribu ku visit hawa because after he hapa sasa ndio mawazo itaingia so tuendelee kuwaombea tuta me count on my prayers kapuru count on my prayers i've been praying and i will continue praying for you mr kuru wherever you will be in dubai count on my prayers i'll make sure i pray for you wherever i'll be i'll pray for you otherwise i don't have much it's a pain may god bless you mungu wainue awapatie nguvu ile ametuambia no man gives the peace of god that no man gives may the lord bless you all yes um my name is evans evans meno and uh we grew up with moses in city to call him obito ocha ore marafiki uchago so kina kimundo alikuwa marafiki wa nairobi so every time kina kimu moses alikuwa anaka huko tulikuwa tunaona ni kama tumenyanganya so kumbe even the 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 same as kina kimu alikuwa anachoka sana once i could do so hiyo na maanisha mose mose alikuwa he was closer than a friend he was a brother and uh, those brothers and sisters that were here they have given me something to read on uh, behalf of on their behalf and um judy you joined us uh, i think this year but we are there for you yes, as his brothers and sisters so this is a message they are giving you so i'm going to read something very small and uh yeah if you allow me so we found him fascinating thoughtful and deep we had named him droid for his ability to separate emotions from reason however we knew that deep down he had his heart in everything he did as friends we have lost more than we are able to put in words as a family we mourn a great man that we were all proud of moses was an embodiment of strength courage and strong will our christmases will never be the same without him now we are left to ensure that his memory lives on in our hearts and our deeds we are better for knowing you better for loving you better for having met you may you be as blessed in the next life our brother as we were in this one by knowing you thank you oh and um funny enough i'm i'm the chairman of this konyon group uh the youth uh moses was the secretary yes and uh moses was so organized uh we have a small uh kitty uh an investment group so moses used to keep us in check moses used to make sure that everybody is repaying their loans he had everything in order so we have lost we have lost someone that we cannot replace yes so thank you so much and the father is the chairman of konyan group and he's also very instrumental he's just like the son yeah they they used to, used to complain that he was too strict on them because if you fail, you fail to do what is supposed to be done he would be on you all the time so i think uh, i i still uh, matema ja go iri go mutiti mungu mie aburu mie asante sana eh incidentally again december kana kirui you know you'll be hosting us but minus moses pole Thank you so much Konyan group that was a very huge family to get to accommodate everybody so I want to take back the program to the family because we understand we have to cut the brief uh, so that we release some of our friends and I'll give back to Reverend to proceed we want to appreciate the family of Judy when Judy you know we have two Judys Judy is the sister to Moses married to Sana. Now when Sana took Judy, Moses brought another Judy home. So we want to thank God because of 
the grace that they have for the family. So let me give a program back to uh, Reverend, so that he gives maybe two, two or three uh, members of the family, and then we we'll proceed to have tributes from friends, and then neighbors, and then we are going to finish. Thank you. So I don't uh, take much. I want to welcome uh, our chief uh, to, to do the family. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to, to, to send my condolences to the family of my daughter and family of Drui and our family. In fact, it was a great loss. Moses, I know, he was a great son-in-law. And I hope one day, one time, we shall meet. So before you is, uh, is my family. Can you line up, please, for the camera? But we have to come one more to see we are Mama Judy.
Family. So Moses was having this week. But my daughter, my second born daughter. Family in the ball, the ball, mama, 
Am I there, boy? Glad to be here. My brother, Wajina, I tried to find the way she was my chief mutai. Play no ball, son. Give me one, oh my. Give me two. All you want, all that way. My way, no way. The one. Give me a kiss, my chief mutai, son. And I know nothing yet. Family, I know that. Oh my, I'm just a boy. Bora já só se fez, bora já só se fez, né? Já não tive o nosso ano de varanda, então me tiro muito engraçado, muito sano. Presidente, presidente, Jesus, 
There is hope beyond the grave when we love Jesus. Let us not cease start trusting in Jesus. Let us live for Christ in everything that we do. Today, he is strong. God is faithful. Amen. So in Christo. So in Anevo and my <laughs> Missing Judy, Ravatia, Omuru, 
Familia Minister Wesley Kirui, Minister Wesley Kirui, Jana Omarimu, Familia Agema, Vetera Kwajumura, my colleague, Senior Chief, Wana Mutai, and your family, the family Kwajumura, Kwajumura, Wagena Metoka Mbali, Wagadi wa Apalitei, Ngapenda Kutua Polisangu, wa Familia Wana Wesley Kirui. Wolele Sana, Tulipata ya pari kwa usumbiku kwa sana. Wakati tulipiku wa simu, kuhikia na meaka, tulishaka sana. Tulilia kapusa. Tulipo tulipaka, tukuja ipoma, kutuwa salamu pandei. Kwa hii familia kiri. Na tulipo tulipaka, suku tuwa sukumwe. Baada tute, sukumwe, imealeisho. Kwa nini? Atikipaka tulikia na kari kwa mtaru. So, tulikuwa kuna hafikiri ni maya hita, tu nilikuwa serious na sema madam, tepe kaipole sana kwa mtote yako, pole ni sana tufumilie So, mina taka emile tuwamili wakunja hapa mtele Mtele kunja Kini mite tuwamili Mwakuna Mwakuna Alice Nancy? Nancy? What about Nancy? 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 So I'm going to meet a family. We live up here too, and I have to ask someone in the point. Last year, we'll protest about my head. Last year. And I have to look at you. We will be fast for the way to look at you. We will be Alice, Selim. Na mire kwa hapa hili, mire makatu. Uwile pipiangu na ito na mire kutichi. Uwile nasi. Uwile chamlik. Uwile pipi wa chamlik. Uwile jamia. Uwile pipi wa jamia. Uwile hakness, lakati. Uwile sarakio. Sarakio. Matikio hili wama no. Uwile sarakio wakani. 
Uli Mwana wa Alice. Alice, right? Was he living? Edward? Uli Tuma Nilagat? And it's come to the to be a member. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Avalis. 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 Hello, we <laughs> Agnes, how So, if you want to go to the you will be you go to the Borneo. So, if you want to go to the Borneo, I will So, I will go to the So, I will go to the Borneo. 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 So, I will go to the Anger, <laughs> I have Okay, 
wapi kamurita mko wapi usimame tu ndei basi from kamurita mwao ne pole mwao ne pole na rumi kongwe thank you for coming on behalf of friends friends what on this for this family let me request the family of david from usa to represent all the friends please to them and give your tribute on behalf of all the friends As I request the uh, committee chairman, Mr. Chichir, just be nearby. Thank you. 
appreciate all of us for uh, making it to be here to sacrifice our time to come and share the grief with this family. Let me recognize Kabarak, Boy Kabarak High School. There was a group on that side recognized earlier. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. That's one of you. One minute. One minute. Praise God, on behalf of Kabarak family, they are here, you will just see them, we will not say their names. Moses is a good friend of us, um, a roommate, a classmate, the neatest person that we knew, and there is a lot more stories that we can say about him, but today we are here to mourn Moses, we are here to send him off as his friends, and maybe one thing that I want to say, at the end of the day, we don't know when we are going to die, that is the preaching that we have had today. But we've understood one thing about death, that the only, day, the only way to beat death is to give life. So we thank God for Elon, we thank God for Paul, we thank God for Judy, we are still our friends, we will continue to live with you guys. And finally, we soul rest in peace. Um, this is not Moses, this is the body of Moses today. But Moses, wherever you are, I know you are a natural scientist, you already have all the answers that you're looking for in this world. Diary Mumba will connect all the secrets. Man, rest in peace, my friend. Uh, these are my friends, Martin, Bradley, Brian Chege, Hillary, Yozio, and uh, Nyamualo. Thank you. Thank you, Kamara. Mumba, I'm going to take care of some money. You know, to manage time. Thank you so much, the team from Korea. Let me call Chairman. Chairman, Mr. Chichir, please, on behalf of the committee and also go with Abba and finish. I'm Jamu Nyote. I'm Jamu Tena. Komajina naituwa Will Kitchir. Mwenye kitu wa Kamati Analizi wa Sherehi. Waeza kusema Sherehi. Hii kazi yote ambayo mwone imefanyo hapa. Nani kamiti ambayo imefanya na ngepeta kwa reko mwenye kwa reka tunikono juu kwa sabi ya muda. Baani mwenipo, nunaa kusema asanteni kwa maandalizi haya ambaya tunayana tunayekea kwa kukitia wa kikomu. Igao sasa, ngepeta tuku wa kitu moja pekea ya kishema kama unawana mapungutu yoyote na wadani utakusane. Masa iskaiguni sana, kiongoleze. Mwepaka hilo kwa sabu, the mind will cool because of Moses. But what you have done is what you have seen. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chairman. Uh, just, uh, I'm about to give up the, to give the program to the, our leaders. Let me just recognize uh, Mr. Kimi. Just wave wherever you are, Kimeto. Kimeto, where are you? Just wave where you are. So one minute, one minute, Abba. 
one minute as I request the uh, husband to our area MCA, President Biagon, to uh, follow so that we we'll proceed to recognize uh, our other uh, MCAs present. And then we'll also follow protocol. We'll, uh, we'll also give thanks to the uh, first governor to speak. So that protocol, and then we'll hand over to the church. Thank you so much, Mr. MC, the, the family of Mr. Gui, the wife and the son of Moses Pet, the extended families here, our uh, political leaders, the religious leaders. I want to say pole, pole to my son, pole. He was crossing from the childhood to manhood, one and give together with the brother, you know, together with that gentleman. Sit down. During the initiation program, I assisted Moses and the others. with strong values, we can cultivate a strong character. That is why Moses has been quite responsible. At school, in the university, and taking care of properties of the family. We are sorry, we have lost this young man at an early age through road damage, which has claimed many lives during recent days in Kenya. It is very sad. Honorable Isaac Ruto. Every day, every day. So, the wife of Moses be a strong mother. You will be held by the parents, the family of Kiruri. Okay, we there. Okay, we there. Yes, I but to me, what to me, say Moses, what you Yes, this is my relative. Hey, he was a very, he was a very. He is based in Nairobi, and this is the mother, Bessie. And he's sad, Bessie. And that is the grandfather, Mr. Willie Kemeni, who is also sad, Mr. Kemeni. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey. These are strong men. Yes. Four of the Fusen, Mohamed Yolo. Can you say something? Very good. Praise God. I want to thank all of our family. Um, it's been a very difficult loss. We were going to I think, two, three hours before the accident happened. So it was such a big shock to me. He's uh, left so much behind, but we have so much to learn from him as well. So I took to thank all of our family. But we live in a big strong for him as well. Thank you. Thank you, Nibabule. Moses, thank you for coming. Okay, now let me recognize, uh, if I, let me welcome Mr. Biagon to welcome, uh, to, say, uh, to say his tribute. He's here uh, on behalf of the wife who happens to be the area MCA. Uh, she will say her name.
and I would request him to uh, welcome uh, Honorable Chigili, and then Chigili will welcome our first governor of Red County. Thank you. Thank you. So let me take this opportunity to, to pass my condolences to the family of uh, Wesley Kirui, the family of Moses, especially Judy. All that I'm saying is that uh, all shall be well. I've known Moses for a while. Since he was in high school, he's been my friend and uh, he's been sharing a lot with Moses. Eh? Lately, I think uh, before he passed away, I talked to him and uh, we were sharing a lot concerning uh, the businesses that we have. And uh, all I can say is that uh, he was a man of, uh, he was very ambitious in what he was doing, especially the projects and uh, a lot of business which he had. So all which I can say is that uh, honor to the family and uh, the brothers and sisters and uh, the friends of Moses. So on behalf of uh, Area MCA, who is not with us right now, Narebarita, he has, she has passed her, her condolence and she's on her way coming. So all, let, let me say to the family. So before I complete, huh, let me recognize all the MCS who've just attended this uh, function. All the MCS, before I give it to, to MCA from Kipkelion. Do you have any MC around? Okay, if not, eh, let me recognize the, and welcome Mashima Chigili from Kipkelia. Welcome. Chigili, my name is I didn't say my name. Eh? I'm called Wesley Biagon, the husband to area MC Anita. Sante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kabla sitabeana pole zangu, niko na mwishimi wa Anne. Na ni family member. Kwa heshima wacha nimpe dakika moja. Hata na asimi pole. Ani inatai, wamacha wekicho wa gumbe, yesa esetu. Mamma, <laughs> Kiwa tuna neno moja Ya pole Asante ah, Wakati wetu ni kama unaenda sana Na tunaenda na hirobi Tunaomba mtulusu Tukawese kuondoka Lakini neno moja Mbao ningependa kusema ni hapamba The Lord has not left the family is still there with him. Keep calling to him every time. And the Lord will take care of you. Hello, Engine. Umari Kiwi. Umui. So, nilikuwa nasema kwamba niko tuna neno moja ya pole. Nina ito Anto Deruto. Chingili Babanyo. MCA Kipkele Anwad in the Belian West constituency. Nilikuwa nafata watu wangu wa Kipkelia na ni members ya familia hii. Wata niseme pole kwa yale ya litendeka kwa hii familia. Pole wanakiruji. Pole mama. Pole kwa watoto wenu. Pole kwa kila mtu kwa jamii. Nilikuwa kwamba ni uchungu sana. Lakini tutafanya nini? 
Aimetendeka. So ara piri mute charwenyo. Mute lawugu. Mute go mwantul. Mute ramana. Ngo mungeta apla kwengu. Akwengu. Ngo tare toki huwa. So ara te moit. Lawu kionit. Mamogi and kainet ap jis. Kasi wubi kiu kibagi pilya. Uya nga magi tabuta ap jihuwa. Ulori rena terir tos. Oga wa tera ile miri re uti tera ile mi gorto so nataka tena niseme kwamba nilikuwa na mheshimiwa wa eneo hili ya Chimosot ule assembly lakini nilitangulia kwa sababu alikuwa na mkutano lakini hapo njiani atana ili wachumuike na nanyi kwa kusema pole kwa yale ametendeka kwa familia so wata ni malizia hapo kwa sababu ya muda. Kwa ishima. Kwa ishima yote. Inataka nimpe na fazi hii kwa unye nyekefu. Gavana Aisa Guruto. Atanae aseme pole kwa familia. Inajua kwa mba metoka mbali. Lakini wale chita kuti malo ele mitilia. Kwa ule nulijowa kwa ishima. Thank you. 
Where is our DJ? Please, you are requested to be in your table. Please be very fast because of time. Understand you have a number to present, so you have a, about a minute so that we end the program. Please, DJ. Bas, to report on a request for the cousins on a job. Okay. So, can we move by to the Imam by Nazema, Bono Moses? Kwaeri. So, na waomba njini yote tabatani, tusumame ndio tupe bye, Moses ya mwisho. Tabatani tusumame katika si mna Yesu Kristo.
kuanza program please tukoje we patia na time ya kujiri ya shi please let's be very fast because we we don't have time as a request hold on please let's let's listen let's listen a bit we are going to have the photo of thanks but before there is a cup of tea so don't leave and as we proceed to the, the graveyard please we are less allowed the family members only to proceed to the graveyard as we take a cup of tea up at our tent. So, Mr. Jimmy Nekera, please pass the photo of us. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the day when we have all purpose to come and control with the family of Wesley. Uh, now, uh, I want to say thank you everyone who has any purpose to come and control with us. I want to appreciate the coming of Kenyatta University uh, group. Uh, Lekera for Moses. Also, appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming. Kabe Jerega Sahol, thank you so much for coming. Moy High School Kabarak, we thank you and we appreciate your coming. Please, we congratulate you so much. MC for today. We have done a lot of work and we a great job. We thank you so much for that work. Jomo Kenyatta University group also, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your uh, coming here and the assistance you gave us. Uh, Alice Kores from USA, uh, we appreciate also your uh, tireless standing from USA all the way for 24 hours. You've just come and uh, uh, control with us. We thank you so much for that. May God bless you. Kibangenga uh, group from Nairobi, we also thank you so much to your blood. We say thank you for coming. Kwanyuan group also, we are appreciating your coming and the assistance you gave us during this occasion, this, during this sad reality. Uh, Ken Global, we thank you so much also. May God bless you so much for your assistance and coming to control with us. So, Tikhailan, uh, we also appreciate your coming and the assistance you gave us during this uh, uh, sad moment. The Aviation Authority uh, from Kenya Airways. So we thank you so much. Please may God bless you. Oloika and normal charges who are here also from Nairobi, we thank you so much. Uh, um, good Samaritans who also assisted process when we had the accident. Akiongosha na Oteno. We thank you so much for that. The group from Mangani, we thank you so much for Barcelona, thank you so much for, for your coming to control with us, may God bless you. Another group from Fortuna also, we are saying thank you so much. The administration and the Congressional Chief Retain, uh, we say thank you so much, and the Chief also from Repotet, uh, thank you so much. Neighbors, for Wesley, here at uh, Ainamoy, and also Amrit. We thank you so much for your assistance and also coming to continue with us. The planning committee, the planning committee has done a lot, have done a great job. We thank you so much. May God bless you. Um, Kablon. Comrades uh, from Kablon, we thank you so much. Friends, Wesley, friends, and the family, friends for Wesley, we say thank you so much. The security personnel who are standing to assist us in the organization here, we say thank you so much, may God bless you. Members of the clan, Jackie Ogoso and Jonathan Rotin, may God bless you also. Convoy uh, vehicles to, from Kericho to uh, Latin. Uh, thank you so much. The Lorraine group, we thank you so much. Uh, Comrade Talk. Thank you so much. Women women Rapid County also, we thank you so much. Uh, Rongai, thank you so much. MCA, Anthony Ruto, together with the former governor of uh, Comet, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the wire. The uh, wire Jessica, thank you so much. Wire Jessica, thank you so much. Senator Kirito, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. May God bless you. Now, Mutai team, KCJ Singoro, thank you so much for that. 
Now we are going to hand over the, the session to uh, Bishop Jonathan Rotti to continue from there. And I will say, may God bless everyone who has actually gotten the chance to come and control with the family of Wesley. May God bless you. Thank you so much. Hello. She never left here with her son, This is the last ceremony. And this is what we came here for. I will be able to give you a little bit of 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 a Please, if we are reading the Bible, God is talking. Sidi, Sidi, you go. We are going to watch the Malis and Kusoma to Obe. Adafu tuweke wuyo wanyumbayake abaye mungwale tenge nesia yeye. In a sema, then shall the dust return to earth as it was, and the Spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Don't give me one chito, give me one chito, and don't 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 give me one chito, 
From tomorrow on, we will be familiar. Quietly tell them. And at the beginning, we will be okay. We will not be able to silently in the presence of the Lord. In your name, we will. And at the beginning, we will not be able to give you. Abdi lagi tu nyari ni, nanyi lagi gua buti. Kau mesti aja jauh banyak sembuh tak boleh. Amu kan lebay pun mati aja gigi gua bateri jom ni tu nengke. Ada gak boleh sulit. Kita jono muat saya gua sepuh nama isu. Muat sepuh na time. Wagi nama mama wale pika. And mana yang ada joy ya papa wagi singe teh. Recently, Bingunia Kasema, we will take him home. We are going to go to the Malisa Safari. I had the Safari in Jema. We will have the answer. To the Pate Pale. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who comforts us in all our trouble. To Niani Ulimwengu, we are trouble. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious upon you and give you peace. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace, particularly Mukewe. We have talked to you, but there is one person who is going to stay in this compound, Nanamunku. Akai hapa, we listen to you. After all, Bibili anasema, uyu mungu ni buwana ya wale ambaye wa mempote sa mabuwa na sindiyo. And that one is even better. Sometimes I used to joke and tell mama, mama, if we have to choose who will die first, I would rather die because sita chunga watoto kama wewe. Nana niambia bana, niyeri niyete kwanza, iyo nukumanisha, atutagi kifo. But in case one of us at Ambuli, to do a kwamba, Buana, young to do it to the Buana monk, will abide at the Sunga. Thank you very much, Mr. Janaweto. I wish we were given time to hear you first. Do you want to hear us in Alale? We are talking to Gansa Gebega. You are very strong. You know who took your husband. You know where your husband has gone. And may God bless you. Well, again, I'm sure thank you so much for your prayer and the country of Kilicho. And by me, I'm now at Kilicia. I'm going to be sure well to me say my Sunday kill them on your way now. We should be a strong man. You blow up on me. You're an empty job. Take a move. Take a move. Quick in and give you. But you know, don't go mad at you. It's a leader. Since you can't say we don't know him. Kicau me, mama mungkin kerja ni tak kira kira sahaja jenis amun. Mama beri lagi lagi kasar pesuk. It's my good friend, very good friend, a neighbour man. Itu ni cuma big. So kita sahun macam ni waktu ini kita lalu lalui. Dua ribu mungkin. Ya ikan asin dia juga sempat. Tukar nyom. Kau juga dua tahun aku sempat tu bukak. Biar ikan asin tak kena dek. Walau kau wakil nyomba, nyomba wakati wakano. Nyomba umbe, ilu wakibiga na wasuwane. So, kyo so chini baga, baga lewo. And I'm still here to be younger. Politicians come and go, and I still remain sinu kweli. Kwa hivu, kanisa itaendelea kutumu, kwa chili ya kuomba. Kwa hivu tuombe. Christians, loving God.
creation that God created. Today we have come to celebrate the life of a short-lived young man who lived to be admired. A man full of love. A man who has the brain. A man who used his potentiality. Ya kwamba tunapo shika yeye. Kuna hui mwenyabali aliandiga ya kwamba in several graves there are so many talents that were buried and used. Father God, as we took him to his bed, abaye hata shia na mungine, is a young man who utilized his potentiality. As we put him to rest, to wait upon the last trumpet, the trumpet of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father God, we want to thank you. For the short life that he lived as a young child, very intelligent, as a youth, as a married man, Father God, he, we have so much to emulate from his lifestyle. And today, oh God, Ameacha Muschana Mdogo, Abaye Ameongea. To Kiondoka Kwai Poma, we want to thank you so much that the future of the name of Moses will continue. Kwa sababu umeumpa gijana. Gijana ambaye kwa kuona very intelligent. Let him grow in the nature of the Lord. Tuwaombea ya kwamba alishwe na neno lako takatifu. Mungu wa macheshi ataoma ya kawaida. Mungu wa macheshi I want to pronounce your protection. Your protection in Jesus name. Na muambia mama. Na muambia baba, baba yake. Na muambia mama, who are very strong. Keep them under your wings, that they may feel your presence at all times. Wagaba wa mwariga chief, I want to commit them before you, that they would work together as a team to love umustana, bamojana, babu. And all of us, to kienda makwetu, utusaide tu wakumbuke kimaombi. As a Babu, we have said, pray without ceasing. We want to dismiss ourselves, O oh God, wherever we come from, that we ask for your journey masses to figure makwetu, salama salimeni. Father God, I thank you for the words that we have had. We thank you for the, the scriptures that we have read. We thank you because blessed is he who hear it and do it. Bless our country, Kenya. Bless the leadership. That the leaders may love us may work for us, Father God, to fulfill their promises because Kenyans are peaceful people. We thank you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. May the grace Amen. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you all. Let me request the cousins to carry the flowers. Cousins, please. Cousins to come and assist in carrying the flowers. As I request AIC, AIC Chesikoro to assist us to move. I will out and Chairman Reverend Mutai. I'm a Yarubu Kukuja, Lakini. I'm a Kosa Kutufike is on the way. I'm a Sema. Pole Kwa family. The Pole Kwa family. He will come later. Thank you, thank you, Bishop, for leading us today. Let me request the uh, cousins to assist in the flowers. All the flowers are out. Pick all the flowers, don't give any flower. And also, we are requesting that we only allow the family members to proceed to the gravesite. As I request AIC, Jessica, to lead us with a song as we, as we leave the procession to the graveyard. As you press the other people to bring you home, as you press the other people to bring you home, to take a cup of tea. There is it, yes, you got a song. There is it, yes, you got a song. Make sure you can't use the flowers. Make sure you can't use the flowers. Hold the flowers. Hold the flowers. Hold on. Hold on so that you go in the position. Hold on so that you go in the position. Vela, just hold the flowers.
All the flowers we put together, all the flowers we put together, all the flowers are 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 put
mtakatifu baba wetu tunakushukuru kwa mwema na kwa mfariki umetusaidia mpaka wakati huu umesaidia familia umesaidia wageni umesaidia kila mmoja wetu hata kazi ambayo imefanyika siku ya leo bwana tunaongozwa na kisha wetu wote bwana asante sana kwa sababu umetenda mema tunapoagana hivi sasa tunaomba uwepo wangu uandamane pamoja nasi na pia uwepo huo uandamane ukae pamoja na familia ya Moses na wakati wowote bwana akiona kaburi hili bwana waone utukufu wa jina lako kwa sababu umetuambia ni wewe unamtupa na ni wewe utaonachukua Mungu wetu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya kila mmoja wetu asante kwa sababu ya familia tuwe pamoja nawa asante kwa sababu ya wale ambao wanasafiri wape safari njema na wasaidie kwa kila jambo majirani plani kamiti wote ambao wamefanya kazi nzuri bwana wafariki na watendee mema wale wote ambao walituma msaada kwa familia hii bwana watendee mema unawasaidie kwa kila jambo na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini